Hi guys, it's time for another still book review, and today I have the Oscar winning Gravity. I'll talk about the still book in just a second, but I have to say that the uh, Oscars, the awards, I think went to the right people and to the right films. Uh, there was a strong showing on the awards this year, and um, I think it was fair that they, they shared them out with the best director going to this movie and best picture going to 12 Years a Slave. It was the best way to share everything out. Um, I have to say, when I put this Blu-ray into the um, player and I put the I put the 3D disc in, the opening shot of this film is just as you know mind blowing as it was at the theatre. Absolutely stunning. As soon as that first image comes on, where you see the planet Earth, it, it's amazing, and it's definitely worth picking this up in 3D if you've got a, if you've got a decent 3D TV and a, a nice big screen. Um, I think it. I think it looks amazing, stunning picture. The the movie is absolutely fantastic. It had me gripped from beginning to end, and I loved it. It was for me one of the best films, easily of last year. Um, so let's talk about the still book itself. Yeah, some pluses, and there's some minuses. The minus for me is having that big 3D logo that. Warner Brothers seems intent on putting on all of their steel books um, to let everyone know it's 3D. I don't think that needs to be done. You know, it comes with a J card. You can easily put 3D all over that. There's there's no need to uh, print it on the steel book, and it does sort of ruin the image um, for me. Um, the actors' names at the top, I, I don't really have too much of an issue with, but the steel book would have looked a lot more stunning. With just the just the words gravity, uh, maybe some embossing or a debossing, um, and just the gravity and the image of of the astronaut here and the planet Earth, it would have looked a lot better. That being said, the finish on this is quite nice. It's got like a, a matte finish, but also um, there is what um, is described as spot gloss here on the astronaut, so he sort of stands out and shines nicely into the light. And uh, yeah, the actual finishing on on the steel book is is nice. I can come back a bit. So yeah, which is a shame really that having such a nice finish on the the steel book itself um, is then all covered up by all all of this uh, these words and numbers. But there you go. On the back. Also, this is a fingerprint magnet, <laughs> I have to say. So, you know, even though uh, I've been w wiping it down and everything, my thumb's touching it, there, all the prints are showing. But here you go on the back, we've got um, the astronaut there. Once again, the spot gloss finish on the astronaut. You can faintly see the stars. It would have been nice if they stood out a little bit more. Uh, the, the caption there, don't let go. Um, We've got the credits on the back. Another thing I'm not that big a fan of. Um, they're better when they're put on the inside, but there you go. Um, let's have a look inside. Oh, by the way, the image goes around, as you can see. Let's have a look inside. Plain discs. 3D and 2D. And uh, nice image inside there. Stands out fairly nice. You've got Clooney's character and there's Sandra Bullock's. So yeah, nice inside image, good choice there. Okay, so uh, bonus features. We have nearly three hours of special features in 2D, uh, according to the uh, J card on the back. Um, the audios and subtitles I'll go through now. Uh, audio wise, we've got English. Uh, English uh, description for the hard of hearing, French, uh, German, Italian, and Spanish, which is Castilian Spanish. Um, subtitles, and these are in uh, 3D as well, so I have checked that disc, so what I'm listing, it's definitely on the 3D disc. Um, English, French, German, Italian, Spanish against Castilian Spanish. You've got Dutch, um, Danish, Finnish, uh, Icelandic, uh, Norwegian, and um, Swedish. Uh, they're the they're on the main feature. So there you go, guys. The steelbook could have been better, 
but um, I think it was still good value for money. Uh, the Steelbook does have its pluses as well as its minuses. Uh, it comes with two discs, a 2D and a 3D, and it cost me under £20, which is pretty much a bargain, seeing as prices are going up and up uh, nowadays. So if I weigh it all together, I think I'm pleased uh, that I got the Steelbook, and I think the movie is absolutely fantastic. I'm looking forward to watching it all the way through from beginning to end. And uh, I'll catch you later, guys.